नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स आई एम अदिति एंड टुडे आई विल बी टेलिंग यू हाउ टू डू इमेज ट्रांसफर ऑन अ बॉटल यूजिंग इट्सी बिट्सी इंस्टेंट ट्रांसफर जेल सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट क्लीन द बॉटल रिमूव एनी स्टिकर एंड वॉश इट एंड लेट इट ड्राई I will be giving two coats of Itsy Bitsy chalk paint of color shade snow. It's white basically. Let it dry and now I will give the final coat with a lighter shade. Pastel shades are preferable as your print will be seen clearly. Here I am showing you how to merge color to give the coat. The final coat should be of lighter shade preferably if you want all details to be shown. You can go for pastel shades also. On lighter shades, print will be seen clearly as compared to the darker shades. You can go for light pink, light yellow, pista shade, merry biscuit shade, so all those lighter shades. Meanwhile, let's work on the print. On the right side, you can see the normal print, and on the left, you can see print which is mirror image of the right print. We have to use left one, which is the mirror image. You don't use the normal image, especially in case of scripts. The painted bottle is wet, so we'll show on this another bottle. Cut the desired print, keeping one centimeter gap on all the sides. For image transfer, Itsy Bitsy has this wonderful product called Instant Image Transfer Gel. It is water-based and very easy to use. And by name, you can make out that it's instant. Apply a coat of transfer gel onto the print and on the bottle. Stick the print on the bottle. Even out and make sure no bubbles remain. Keep it to dry for 10-15 minutes. After 15 minutes, take water with brush or sponge and soak the paper. You have to apply water until you see the print. Once you see paper is soaked with water and you are able to see the print, then start gently rubbing the paper surface to remove the layers of the paper. You should take prints on a paper which are between 60 to 100 GSM. That will give best results. You have to go really slow and be careful while rubbing. If you do it in a hurry, you might tear the paper.
Once you are satisfied, let it dry and then apply a coat of instant transfer gel on top of the print. For sealing your project, you can either use deco magic or varnish from Ipsy Bitsy. Here I am using deco magic first and then I will apply a layer of varnish all over my project. Now the varnish is dried and now let's decorate it. Here I am using jute strip, lace and a handmade flower from the store. I hope you like the project. Thank you for watching.